I just got a package from Chi. Let's unbox this. This is the Chi M Pro, one of Chi's newest 3x3s, and I'm super excited to unbox it. So once again, a huge thank you to Chi for sending out this cube to me. It took about a week for them to send the cube. I really applaud them for their good customer service. I believe it is a budget version of their 3x3 line, and I'm super excited to try it out. So I'll be trying to compare it with my Super RS 3M because it is one of those cubes that is around the same budget. But first, I'd like to applaud them for their packaging because it is very compact and very robust, which makes it pretty cheap to manufacture. And I think they did a good job at making this budget friendly for as many people as possible that is a nice cube Ooh, this is like a foam mesh texture kind of cool so inside you get the settings instructions and this is where you can see the axis distance setting and the elasticity tensioning system so this is really useful if you're not used to how cubes are manufactured nowadays and there's also a nice pamphlet that just shows you how to solve the cube here's the 3x3 itself Okay, very slippery out of the box. It has a nice glossy plastic on the outside, which I'm feeling quite noticeably right now. As you can see, it feels just like a Yushi Little Magic on the outside, if you kind of know what that feels. I do enjoy the shades, very fluorescent and kind of pastel. Yeah, I can definitely tell it's gonna be quite scratchy out of the box, but let's go ahead and test this out. Okay, actually not too bad. I feel like this is very, very fast out of the box, just like the V9 was, but for the most part, it, it is quite controllable, actually. I'm liking this for my first impressions. As you can see, the magnet strength is pretty weak, I'd say. Like, it's definitely not clicking into place with that much ease. But yeah, you can definitely tell that this is more of a budget cube and not one of the higher end 3x3s that she would produce. So far, I'm not sure what the price is of this cube exactly. I believe it'll be around like $12.99 or so. I feel like it's a faster version of the Yushin Little Magic. It, it really feels like that. Like, I don't know, it just has that light plastic and the shades just remind me so much of it. Comparing it to, this is the RS3M Super. This just feels a lot more tight out of the box. It doesn't have that very clicky, sandy feel. This just flows very nicely, has that sort of blocky feeling as well. So here's what it kind of sounds like. Very solid performer. This cube definitely has a ton of potential. Let's take a look at the mechanism so you guys can get a look at what it's like. The cube is pretty loose, I'd say, so it is fairly easy to take out. Here is the internal piece. As you can see, we can see the magnet slightly in here. Looks like a pretty simple piece design, I'd say. As you can see, this is what the inside looks like. Has that traditional core. Once again, I believe that this cube could use a great deal of DNM along with some weight five to slow it down because this is nice and buttery smooth out of the box, but it does need some setup, I feel like. Because I do see myself getting catches here and there. After all, this cube is really loose out of the box, but comparing it to Chi's flagship 3x3, their Tornado V3, this is the Pioneer version. It feels a lot more smooth, definitely has that more premium feeling. They put a lot more effort into this cube compared to this one, which has that frosted plastic. You can feel it has a little bit of a cheaper sound. Definitely a huge difference between the two, but I think that Chi did a great job at producing this cube, especially if it's gonna be for under like $12 or less. I think it definitely has the potential to become a lot of people's mains. Someone's looking for a cube on a budget. This definitely has potential. M slices seem to be no problem at all, no issue. All the layers seem to be turning pretty evenly. Here is what it looks like on the inside of the center cap. Oh, that's cool. It has like that kind of piece design where it like overlaps over the centerpiece. As you can see, here are all the tensioning adjustment systems. That is your traditional screw, I believe, where you just screw it to make it tighter or looser. And then the elasticity tensioning system is where all the numbers come into place. As you can see, there's small numbers in there ranging from one to 10, and that will change the spring compression of the cube, making it a little bit more controllable. I'm gonna start out with an average of 12, unset up, then I'm gonna try to set it up just a little bit, and then I will do another average of 12. So. Let's see how this is. Let's count it.
And that is about it. There is my first average of 12 on this cube. Surprisingly, so much better than I expected. I hit a 9.03 average of 12, which is pretty good actually. It is fairly close to what I actually average on 3x3. I feel like everything was just flowing very well. It was very pleasant to turn actually. I feel like it wasn't locking up too, too much. The flow of the solves was pretty good. The cube itself, like the sticker shades, it makes it feel so satisfying to turn. I really enjoy how it's not like this darker tone. I don't know, I've just been getting some pretty good times. I got like a bunch of eights in a row, like I think five or six eights in a row, which is pretty cool. Just super excited. I'm probably gonna set this up a little bit to see how it is. There's so much lube in this cube, like especially this layer. I feel like turn it so many times, it's so gummy. All right, I think the cube is all set. It definitely feels a lot better, a lot more controllable, and definitely more viable option for me. I don't know how this cube will do in OH. I forgot to address that in my last review, but this cube, I think has definitely some potential for OH. It might be a little bit uncontrollable, but I think with the blocky feel, that definitely makes it more pleasant to turn when doing OH. So maybe I'll have to do a few solves, but for now, let me just do a quick average of 12 and see how it compares. That's another 932. So that was quite underwhelming. I actually counted a 14 which caused me to have a 10.37 average of 12. I think the main cause of this was because the lube on the outside is very sticky on this cube which is kind of weird to say. I think that I applied too much weight 5 and I think if you have the right setup and I break it in enough this cube has so much potential that it could probably be used for world class solvers. Yes it is a bold statement but at the same time I feel like some people enjoy the blockier feel of a cube. This cube has that kind of Valk ish feel that's like a little bit dumbed down and if it's going to be one of their budget cubes i can see it being a popular option amongst everyone else in the cubing community but as of right now thank you so much g for sending me this cube to test out this cube i think definitely has a lot of potential to become a backup cube i'd say or maybe something that i just bring along on a car ride definitely a great option if you're on a budget someone who probably is starting to get into cubing or someone who wants a good speed cube i think this is definitely a great option let me know in the comments down below what you think about this cube if you have any other questions please let me know thank you so much for watching this catch you guys in the next video. Peace.